Let's talk about the football. Um, fine margins. You've been very close. I know mm. you've seen things in performances you've been happy mm. with and things that you've not been happy with. How close is this group of players and what is going to tip them over that edge of winning again? Yeah, I mean, we've been in difficult circumstances for uh, the majority of the season. Um, we have been in games where we've played against top-class opposition. Uh, we've played in games where um, we've played against teams that are similar to us. We've either drawn uh, or lost at games. We have missed some of our players that um, can be creative uh, and open doors. The likes of Caleb Watts and Hunter, who we've missed for, for large periods, you know, we've missed Stockton for six games of the season. Obika's been away for the last three. Gano's missed the last three. We've got jo um, we've got Taylor that's out. So they're all players that are in that forward area, and we haven't had the the luxury for a period of time to use these players. And when you've got a tight knit squad, we've got 24 in the squad. We've got three goalkeepers. We've got Courtney Dufus who's out for the season. So when you take that all back. Um, we don't have a lot to, to juggle with. We don't have an under-23s team. We've got an under-18 team. Um, Adam Mayer has come up from uh, the under-18s stroke 19s and uh, performed well. Great for him to get a goal the other night. We've taken in the lone players uh, of Kieran Phillips, who I think has been fantastic for us. Um, he could have scored a lot more goals for us. Uh, since he's been here but the one thing that he has done he's got into positions and uh, to score goals and that's probably the hardest thing to do is to get into positions a lot of strikers uh, don't have that capability but uh, he certainly has Across the board when you're getting close but not winning games does that affect confidence and how do you deal with that? Yeah I mean I, I do it always affects confidence uh, because um, you feel that um, you know, you're not getting anywhere when you probably deserve to get somewhere. Uh, but I think that, you know, the other night against Harrogate, the amount of chances that we've created, um, we should have easily won that game. Uh, but um, there'll come a time where it'll all click together. We'll get the players coming back. We'll go on a run and uh, get ourselves in a, in a much better position. You're still getting fantastic crowds here at mm. the Mazuma Stadium, the season ticket sales that you've spoken about before. The atmosphere on a match day, mm. not winning at home this season, mm. have you noticed a change in that or is it still much the same as when you were winning games last season? Um, I think that um, the atmosphere has still been the same. I think that you know the Ipswich game last uh, week was, was outstanding. It was a really good game. They, they appreciated the, the effort from the players, you know, going 1-0 ahead and uh, pushing them all the way. We were unfortunate not to go 2-1 ahead in the game, but... Um, you know, we've got 2,700 season ticket holders. We've all taken that money in, uh, which has helped the, the football club. We still have people, you know, coming in uh, off the, the streets, so to speak, to pay uh, extra money. And, uh, you know, the, the atmosphere has been very good. I'm sure you've had poor runs of results in mm. playing career, management career. Is it unusual to have the same kind of atmosphere around the ground when you haven't won for a while? I think that... A lot of the Morecambe supporters are realistic and when you have uh, a, a budget that is bottom of the table then you've got to understand who you are in relation to other teams and uh, I think that um, yes they want to do well it's the same you know Burnley you know for five seasons or more have been in the Premier League and not winning games and Burnley supporters now are saying what an enjoyment is to go to play in the Championship and win games each week that's just the reality of where you are uh, expenditure wise you just look how good a job uh, Sean Dyche did to keep Burnley Football Club in that league for so many years it was the same with us nobody expected us to get from a bottom budget in League 2 to League 1 they would have been quite happy for us to stay in League two and win games every week but fortunately we've got ourselves into a position where we are in League One and uh, you know we've got to try and compete uh, with a lot of teams we know the wage bills of, of other teams having 2,700 season ticket holders uh, is great but the income that generates compared to other income that other clubs generate is minimal but it, it's getting people through the door uh, to support their local team which is, is hugely beneficial 
you've got another one of those teams that kind of exists between the Championship mm. and League One in Barnsley this time. Obviously, the resources are very different. Where they've played is very mm. different. How do you go about against 11 players on Saturday afternoon trying to win that game? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've got to obviously you know go up against them and uh, try and get the better of them. We understand that Barnsley will have better players than us. That's just the way it is because of the, the way that they're able to recruit and where they've come from. They come from the championship downwards and the the wages that they're, they're able to spend. You know, we had Adam Phillips, uh, you know, at this football club for, for a number of seasons. We were paying £250 on our loan fee. Then he's going to uh, Barnsley, a three-year contract and X amount of money. We, we just can't pe- compete and we'd have liked to have had him back. But, uh, you know, I think that over the years, um, these clubs have been in the Championship. You only have to look how many clubs have been in the Championship that have been in League One. A number have been in the Premier League as well. But what I would say is we're fighting against a group of teams down the bottom of the table and we can't concern ourselves about the teams at the top. We're going to have to shock a few at some time this season. And do you think you will? Do you think either they'll underestimate you because of the, the resources or you'll put in the performance and things will fall into place? Yeah, I think that will, you know, come. Uh, I think that it, we only have to look at the run of fixtures we've got coming up and uh, I think that any you know, Morecambe supporter, a shrimp would have been delighted to go to Sheffield Wednesday once maybe uh, in their lifetime. They're going twice in a season now in the FA Cup and in the league. They're playing the likes of Derby, they're playing you know, the, the Barnsleys of the world, the Ipswich Towns. I, we're competing in a different level. Unfortunately, we don't have the, the finance to push on at this moment in time. That will obviously change uh, in the future. But what we are doing is fighting. We've got a group of players that are very together. We've got some talented players in the group. We've taken a number of lone players as well. And I think that um, you know, at some stage this group of players will kick on. Uh, you mentioned just finally Tuesday, you're probably going to have into this game what you had on Tuesday night yes. is that the same situation has anything changed yeah we just got Donald Love back in because he was suspended for Tuesday night game but it looks like we'll have the same 18 uh, John Obika has just come back from Nigeria where he was at uh, his father's funeral uh, he'll just come back into training uh, on Thursday <laughs>